Like here's a, a pyramid menu. Can't say that I've ever actually felt the need to make a pyramid menu, but you know, it is possible. Hello, I'm Paolo. This over here is Jiro. Today we're gonna do a continuation of our previous tutorial. So the last time I did a radio menu. And one thing that uh, I got asked about afterwards, and I didn't really think to put into that first one, is that essentially most menus can work exactly the same way. So let me show you. So this is where we left off last time. Essentially just, I click on the menu, that opens. And when I click on this, it updates this little image over here. Easy enough. So the one thing making the radio menu radio is this part where we're doing uh, calculating the X and Y based on a sine and a cosine, which essentially make a circle. So if we change the logic for this, we can very quickly change how it looks. So let's start by making it a grid. So the code to make a grid is pretty simple. Let's declare columns equals four. And then inside our loop, we can calculate which column uh, each element is in. And we do that simply by saying I mod of columns. So the modular operator, which is that little uh, percentage sign that we put there, basically gives you the residual of a division. So if you divide six by four, you would get one and then a residual of two. That residual is like your leftovers from the division. And that's what the modular will give us. And then for the row, it's even easier. For the row, we just uh, divide i by the number of columns. Uh, in this case, since everything is an int, it will automatically floor the values. But if you're using float values, you need to manually do that floor. Then we declare an element separation, and this is how, how far apart our elements are gonna be. In this case, it's 100. And to calculate our x, is very easy. We just say column times element separation. And for the y, it's exactly the same, except using row, so it's row time element separation. So now when we test, there we go, we have a grid. Uh, right now, this is uh, column zero, row zero. So we're actually moving them upwards, which is a mistake. And obviously they need a little more separation. So let's do that. So over here, when calculating the Y, we needed to do, um, we need to basically flip this. So just minus row, and then they need a little more separation. So let's try like a 150. Now when we open it, there you go. We got our grid and it still works. Obviously it doesn't look great when it's all overlapped, so we can actually adjust a few things here. For example, I can grab this two and move them over here. And then a radial menu, which will be the center from which the grid starts. I can move it like here so that it basically occupies this area over here. Easy as that. So as you can see, just by adjusting the math of that X and Y, you can quickly get different menus for whatever you need. So without doing that, you can basically make any type of menu. Like here's a, a pyramid menu. Can't say that I've ever actually felt the need to make a pyramid menu, but you know, it is possible. So essentially you get a lot of um, flexibility in, you, in what you can do with um, just a little bit of math. And for example, here's a quick spiral version. So it starts from here and it just kind of opens up. One more shape over here. These are like, uh, has like little arms sort of coming in with a little bit of curve. And it's kind of like a, like a bit of a galaxy feel to it. I made a tutorial for how you can aid your level design with a little bit of uh, code. And in that one, I make basically the math for this, if you want to check it out. So you can see with just a little bit of uh, math tinkering, you can get a lot of different shape menus and stuff. Uh, hopefully you found this interesting and useful. Um, remember to like, subscribe, and all those things. I stream on Twitch, links down below, all that stuff. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Adios. Well, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when new videos come out. Thanks for watching.